Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. You can see my house behind me. I'm at the neighbor's house, about to grab this beautiful. Uh, this is a X4M competition. She's a beaut. So, it is black metallic, which is pretty freaking awesome. It's a beautiful car. Uh, I have not done anything to this thing yet. Um, I was looking around it last night, and I saw all these buffer trails back here. I was looking around. I can't see any damage. I don't know what could have happened. I also don't see a scratch they tried to get out. I don't, I don't know. But in that area, you can see the buffer trails. Pretty obvious that they did some work back here in this section. But other than that, it looks great. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull it over there to my house. And uh, we're going to go ahead and give her a bath outside. And then we're going to spray on the new coating, which is uh, more like a clear coat than a coating. Um, I have the key in my pocket. That's why the, the thing keeps freaking out. So um, I'm going to get this thing prepped. Uh, there's a prep shampoo that you use um, and clay. And then uh, after that, I'm going to assess the paint, uh, see what it needs, and then do what it needs. And then we'll be applying the brand new Infinity Coating. Uh, again, that is the going name as of now. Could change if you guys don't like Infinity for this coating um because it literally is permanent it doesn't go away um well i mean that's it infinity permanent they fit so um let me know what you think about that but this is it like i said that little quarter panel or i'm sorry the little bumper area in the back driver's side is the only area i saw last night with the light when we were walking around uh, this vehicle with the client so i'm going to get it pulled over get it washed and clayed and prepped and then I will bring you back after that okay guys so I'm gonna show you how I recommend applying this stuff so this is for the new coating clear coat product I've been talking about uh, it's a permanent product once you apply the two coats it doesn't go away it stays there for infinity so basically um, i've isolated this door you don't have to do that between panels um, i just felt like i needed to isolate it so what i'm going to do is there's a few things um, that i generally make sure i have and it will be included these things will be included in your kit when you purchase the kits that will be available march 1st 2022 uh, so this is a uh, nothing fancy a little pie pan uh, it's a I think a six inch pie pan it's aluminum uh, you can fold it you can store it it they last a good long while uh, you'll get one with every three car kit um, this is a Terry applicator uh, a little bit different than the microfiber applicators um, I have found that some times the microfiber applicators because they have a uh, thicker nap uh, than these Terry applicators. Sometimes you'll have a, a little bit of difficulty with high spots uh, as far as the valleys uh, from when you drag this uh, applicator across the panel. But if you'll notice, uh, this applicator fits inside this. Uh, the microfiber applicators that were sent with the promo kits, they work fine. Um, I have just since the kits were launched uh, a couple weeks ago, I have found that these Terry applicators uh, just allow for a larger margin of error, or I should say uh, less error um, on the installer portion. So the kits will come with this little thing. Uh, I like to pour the product into this, dip the whole applicator in it, lift it up, wring it out, and then dab just an edge of it in there, and that's when I start to apply it. Now, if you'll notice, the technique that I'm about to use uh, is a little bit erratic, a little bit crazy, um, but you got to go fast, but you don't want to reintroduce 
the product to where you've already wiped. So once you've wiped over an area, do not go back over it. It will it will result it'll result in a in a dry spot, uh, and then you'll have to recoat over um, a few times to get it to break up. Or um, you should have uh, the the pro I can't even speak today. Sorry, the promo kits that went out included uh one ounce of xylene xylene is just a very potent very strong paint thinner essentially uh, and the xylene will actually break this down when it's uncured and allow you to basically dissolve it and remove it and then you can reapply so it is very user friendly you can't really mess anything up especially if you're armed with the xylene the xylene has its own set of instructions and all of that. Read the instructions on the xylene can that you buy. Uh, the xylene that I shipped out should be used just to apply to a microfiber towel and touch up any small areas uh, that have given you some trouble, like left high spots that you can't get out and, and that kind of thing. So that's why I sent you guys that little bit of xylene so that you can remove a high spot well, that won't remove by you going over it with another layer. Uh, so that's kind of where we're at. Make sure you don't get the xylene or even the coating on any soft plastic plastics because the solvents will eat the soft plastic. So you always want to tape up. Uh, fortunately, on these uh, higher end BMWs and that kind of thing, uh, all the trim is painted and clear coated. So I'm not real worried about getting it on that. Um, but on other vehicles more domestic types uh, that do have plastic trim I would absolutely keep the coating and the xylene off the plastic trim because it'll eat it up and it it won't be good so utilize tape tape is your friend tape keeps the solvents off of things the coating off of things and that kind of thing so uh, the kit will have come with uh, three pairs of gloves uh, these are nitro gloves nothing super fancy about them either um, I do have this uh, pretty super cool Master Pro Series um, light. This light is awesome. has three different light um, modes or colors, I should say. It was only 60 bucks on Amazon. That's what's up. Uh, so it is MASCML222 is the uh, model number here. M-A-S-C-M-L-222. You're probably backwards because I've got the front-facing camera on my phone facing me now. So anyway, uh, this is pretty cool. I recommend it. It's rechargeable. It's got a little dock. Uh, it plugs in uh, USB. But I've been using this for a little bit to check paint, and it's awesome. Uh, three different light modes, different levels of warmth, uh, as well as different levels of uh, light production. So um, looks good. I prepped the surface, uh, as you may know, with just the prep shampoo. The benefit of that shampoo uh, versus wiping with alcohol or a wax and grease remover is all we're trying to do is strip everything off the surface. We don't want to leave any residue behind, and for certain, I know that this shampoo isn't going to leave anything behind. It's going to strip everything that's on there off, and it will leave the best possible prepped surface to apply this coating to. All right, so let's get started. So we've got our applicator, we've got our product, we've got a little pan. So what I like to do is I like to pour the product in the pan. Take your time with this, guys. For a product like this, you should be charging an absolute premium for a product that doesn't ever go away and that the customer gets to enjoy literally the whole time they own the car. It will do all of the same things that traditional clear coats do, uh, or even coatings I should say, uh, but it also is sandable and polishable and will absolutely leave extra material on the surface of the paint. All right, application goes like this. You literally put the applicator in the solution and let it soak into the applicator. Now, you're going to lift the applicator out and wring it out. Okay? This is to make sure 
you're not going to have any dry spots when you're moving this coating around. So now we've got the applicator all nice and primed. Now what we're going to do is just dip the front in to the product. You want to apply it wet. Notice how I'm not going back over any of the areas that I've already hit. If you see any drips or runs, you can dab them lightly before they dry. That's it. Now we're going to give it um, a little bit of time to, to cure. Basically every panel that you apply the product to, um, well, I should say any, anywhere you apply the product, you need to, to wait at least one hour between coats. So this will self-level within that hour. And then after that hour, you're going to put on a second coat. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this here go ahead and work my way around the vehicle and as soon as I'm completed as soon as I've completed the vehicle it should be about an hour from now a little bit less and then uh, you'll get to see exactly what this stuff looks like when it's when it levels and then you reapply another coat so we'll be right back in about an hour all right guys so I've gone around the whole car and uh, it looks awesome uh, I really think I've gotten the technique down to get it to lay flat let me show you after the first coat uh, I still need to apply the second coat but after the first coat she's still looking uh, pretty amazing all right check this out. so this is after the first coat you'll notice no crazy high spots in the corners or anything or on the edges all nice and level no craziness up there either. Again, I've only put one coat on the whole vehicle. So I'm gonna, I'm going back uh, a little bit traditional today. So what I did, what you need to do, uh, so basically when you soak the uh, applicator and you get to the end, if there's more left in the uh, in the pan, you'll wring it out and it'll be a little bit of a milky color. Um, this will end up being, it, it'll basically clear back out over time, but I'm actually going to use that. That was the leftover from the end of the first coat. And I just basically, you notice I've got a new pan. I actually bent it too much and it leaked out of the bottom a little bit. I was able to get uh, that back in there, but um, these are pretty flexible and delicate but they work 
Um, I am going to go back to the microfiber applicator. These are the ones that went with the promo kits. I really like them a lot. Um, sometimes this thicker nap has a tendency to want to leave some striping behind. Um, you just got to be really careful and take your time. Uh, yeah, you, you got to go slow in your section. You want to do a six by six or eight by eight inch square. So basically a square like that with the first dab, let go, dip it, and then go at the next section, picking up the line from the first section, and then just keep working from there. But got a very even, very nice, solid application. I'm showing you the edges because if you're going to get accumulation, it's going to be on the edges. That's why I'm going around the edges. Look, we'll go through the regular section of paint. And then you'll look down at the edges and notice there's no accumulation. So we've laid it down nice and flat and solid. So I'm going to get on with the second coat. So basically, take your product. Put it in the uh, pan there. Put your applicator in there. Get her nice and soaked. Nice and primed. See there? Nice and primed. Now you're going to wring out whatever is left. And then here we go. Another coat. It's laying down nice. All right. Dab. Coat. Basically doing one pull side to side, keeping it wet and dabbing in after that. So, there we go. See it leaves a little bit of streaking, but no biggie. All right. So that's the second coat. You'll notice you got a little bit of accumulation up there. So I'm going to go ahead and let this cure out and self level uh, as I go around the vehicle. And I'll bring you back uh, when I pull the vehicle outside to uh, show you what it looks like in the sun. So we'll be right back. All right, so I had to move the vehicle out of my driveway so that I could put my El Camino away and pack up for the night. But man, she looks amazing. Um, this is the new universal dressing, the 2022 universal dressing. Uh, this is diluted one part product, uh, three parts water. Um, it looks awesome. I mean, <laughs> you saw it in the sun, but jeez, look at this thing. Yeah, I'm positive the owner is going to be ecstatic. Uh, notice the uh, barrels are all finely tuned. I cleaned the uh, rotors, this area where you can see it. Um, I got the calipers, spick and span, and I coated those too. Um, the wheels were also coated. Um, the wheels were a little bit easier to coat than the paint because I used Everlasting Showstopper X on the wheels, on the glass, and that's it. Everything else, all the paint, actually I used uh, ESX also on the headlights, taillights, and the fog lamps, and the the trim uh, situations so the paint got the new infinity coating that is the permanent coating that acts more like a clear coat than it does an actual coating you literally are building 
material thickness uh, as you apply. God, look at that. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at it. Ooh, goodness. It's almost orgasmic, guys. Seriously, it looks amazing. If you're a car guy and you're not into this shine and, well, this car, I don't know what to say. Looks awesome. Oh, worked really hard to achieve this finish. Um, I did a one-step polish on everything, a gloss enhancement polish uh, using the DeWalt. I think it's the 848. It's the cordless. Uh, no, it's not the 848. That's the rotary. I used the DeWalt 15 millimeter dual action polisher. Uh, the cordless job. It is awesome. I highly recommend it. Um, I used a, I want to say a five amp hour battery and a half to go around this whole vehicle uh, from the roof to all, all of everything else. Uh, just a battery and a half uh, to, to do this thing. That tool is pretty amazing. And um, God, how does that make you feel? That right there, just seeing that. That's premium right there. BMW M competition. Solid. Solid as a rock. No, that's Chevy. Like a rock. I don't know. It doesn't matter. This thing's badass and super cool looking. Um, the detail. Well, I could talk it up for days, but I did it. So what's that worth? You can see it. You can see how amazing it looks. So I washed with the prep soap uh the prep shampoo for the coating um that particular product is awesome and it gets the surface ready to lay down the coating i would not wipe down or wash with anything besides that it comes with the kit use it um use the prep shampoo it is awesome so i washed with the prep shampoo and i did a thorough real traditional wash and that's really what i prefer for this infinity coating uh, mainly because any like nooks and crannies that ha might have sand or dirt in them like underneath uh, the trim and you know in the door handles uh, maybe down on these lower portions uh, any dirt and debris that you don't rinse out is literally going to get caught in the coating and that's not good um yes i'm working on a rinseless version of the uh prep shampoo but i just prefer the traditional wash on this particular situation because I want you to have to spray out all those nooks and crannies to get all that debris out of there. With rinseless, yes, it can be done by sticking the corner of the microfiber in all of the areas. So I'm probably going to release a rinseless and the kits will probably come with both just to add some value. But the reality is I prefer with this particular coating, the infinity coating, not with uh, triple Trifecta the top coat super seven or even everlasting showstopper x rinseless is fine but because this literally is super thick um, and hardens like clear coat but thicker and stronger um, i feel like i just i just prefer a traditional wash over rinseless i will offer the rinseless uh, solution for the prep no problem it's almost done um we're trying to get it to not leave behind any residue so uh as far as that goes it's almost done i had a, a little bit of streakiness last time i used it so we're we're back to the well not the drawing board but we're we're tweaking it just slightly um that's not officially released yet of course none of this is uh this is set for this coating is set for release march 1st 2022 um but uh, I did do a pre-release a couple weeks ago. Uh, I may do one more pre-release for the people who, I mean, there were 38 total people 
who I offered it to and took this coating. So across the country, there are 38 people right this second with this amazing juice. And um, we're getting it all ironed out prior to the March 1st, 2022 release date. Um, this is a professional only product. So if you're interested in this product, please call me, text me, message me, whatever. My cell phone number, yes. I am the owner of the product line. Yes, we are a worldwide product line. Yes, I'm going to give you my personal cell phone number like I always do. And if you look at the beginning of every single video I've ever put on YouTube, you'll see my phone number is 813-846-4406. That is my cell phone number. You can get a hold of me. It is much easier to get a hold of me via text. Text me if you need to schedule a call or if it's just a conversation we can have via text. Let's just do that. Just because I got, I literally get about 30 to 40 calls every week from random uh, customers and that kind of thing. And uh, I will call you back, leave me a voicemail. I will call you back if I don't answer the phone. I always get back to you and that's just the bottom line. So um, this coating is awesome. You get more thickness than you would from a traditional coating, which means you are actually uh, scratching the coating and not the paint uh, because of how thick and hard it is. Um, but that's it, man. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you taking the time to listen to me babble and to learn about the things that I'm working so hard on. I really appreciate you guys that watch my videos and really follow what I do. Um, I'm very grateful for you. Um, if you're not a current customer, I'd love the opportunity to earn your business. These times are hard for everybody. Costs are going up on everything. And um, I've done everything I can not to raise my prices, which I have not to this day. Um, but I'm really working hard to give you guys the ability to detail outside in the hot sunlight anywhere you want to make that money. <laughs> products refre reflect that. Um, with this coating, it is a pro only application. So if you're a licensed business, I will sell it to you after I qualify you. Uh, you have to be proficient in sanding and polishing or unfortunately I'm not going to sell it to you. Um, it is finicky. It is not difficult to apply. It's not complicated by any means at all. Um, it just is a different situation. It's a different monster completely than a traditional coating. Uh, it is thicker, harder, better. It's awesome. Period. Um, but look, I would tell you whatever, I guess. I mean, you know, most people who are trying to, you know, promote their own stuff, they're going to tell you whatever they can. Look, I don't bullshit you guys. I have no interest in any of that. I, I do everything I can to, um, vet my own self, to check, to make sure that the products work in every single environment and every single situation, exactly like I say it does on camera. Uh, I'm the guy who checks checks rechecks checks again and make sure things are good um we have amazing products at detailjuice.com i work hard and if you guys would do me the favor of either purchasing some product and giving me some feedback on what you think uh or let me know if you've got questions guys i'm here to help you so 813-846-4406 is my cell uh, check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on, just like what happened on this BMW. So uh, also, January 22nd and 23rd, 2022, I am holding the training for these coatings, these brand new coatings, Infinity and the Marine version. Uh, I've also got several other things that I'll be talking about during this uh, detailing training extravaganza. So uh, if you want to be there, uh, all you've got to do is purchase a three-car kit uh, of the, the new Infinity coating uh, and you can attend. 
So if you're in, and it's only RSVP, if you just randomly show up, I'm gonna ask you to leave. You have to RSVP uh, by January 1st, 2022, uh, to let me know if you're coming. I am offering this training. Uh, the three car kit is $400, just so you know. Uh, three cars, 400 bucks, that's everything you need to code a car. Um, and uh, if you need it, it's available to you. Uh, let me know, give me, uh, you know, send me a text. If you got questions for me or leave comments below in the comments section. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.